Want to speak real Swedish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at SwedishPod101.com. Hej, jag heter Elin. Trevligt att träffas. Hi, I'm Elin. Nice to meet you. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Swedish. There are only two sentences you need. Hej, jag heter Elin. Trevligt att träffas. Hi, I'm Elin. Nice to meet you. Hej, jag heter Elin. Trevligt att träffas. Start by saying, hej, jag heter. Then say your name. Hej, jag heter Elin. Finally say, trevligt att träffas. Hej, jag heter Elin. Trevligt att träffas. And now let's see the same sentence in a different format. Hallå, Elin. Trevligt att träffas. Hello, Elin. Nice to meet you. Hallå, Elin. Trevligt att träffas. So, what a change from the previous introduction. Let's take a close look at this together. Hey has been substituted with an alternative greeting. Hallå, Swedish for hello. Jag heter Elin has been shortened to just Elin. In this sentence, it's implied that I am introducing myself as Elin. In a formal setting, you would say your full name. One more time. One way to introduce yourself in Swedish is Hej, jag heter Elin. Trevligt att träffas. An alternative way to introduce yourself is Hallå, Elin. Trevligt att träffas. Now it's time for Elin's insights. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands in Sweden. It's more common to use Hej, jag heter Elin. Trevligt att träffas. When you introduce yourself once, in front of a group of people or one single person. If you greet several people individually, you use the short phrase Hej, Elin. Trevligt att träffas. Hej. Hej, jag heter James. Vad heter du? Jag heter Anders. Kul att träffas. Ja, kul att träffas. Det är fest ikväll här, eller? Ja, just det. Vi ses på festen. Ja, absolut. In this lesson we're going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. Är ni redo? Are you ready? Så låt oss börja. Så so let's start. There are several ways to thank someone. So let's start with the easiest. It's just one word. Tack. Tack. Tack means thank you. When saying thank you very much, you just need to add så mycket at the end. Tack så mycket. Tack så mycket. Så mycket literally means so much. So, tack så mycket, it's like saying thank you so much. During the last lesson, we didn't mention anything about formality in speech in Swedish. However, there are some subtle differences in how you will be perceived by others. Tack is a casual way to thank someone. Tack så mycket expresses more gratitude and is thus more formal. A longer and more formal phrase which expresses a lot of gratitude will be Tack så mycket, jättesnällt. Tack så mycket, jättesnällt. Jättesnällt means really kind. It is very common to put jätte in front of adjectives to amplify their meaning. But how do you respond to these thanks? It's easy. There are basically two different ways to do it. The first is varsågod. Varsågod. Varsågod means you are welcome. You use this expression after someone has thanked you for a favor or for something given to them. The other way to say you are welcome is the expression ingen fara. Ingen fara. Literally, this phrase means no problem or it's okay. And it's used when someone has thanked you for your help or for a favor. So, when someone says tack to you, you can simply reply with varsågod or ingen fara, depending on what they thanked you for. Now it's time for Elin's insights. If you're not sure about whether to use tack or tack så mycket, keeping it simple is always your safest bet. You don't have to worry about formal or informal situations. Tack can be used with just about anyone, anywhere and at any time. Hey James, hur är det? Bra, tack. James, varifrån kommer du? Jag kommer från England och varifrån i Sverige kommer du? 
Jag kommer från Linköping. Var i Göteborg bor du? Jag bor i Kalbäck och du? Jag bor i stan nära till universitetet. Jag bor i en tvåa med min tjej. Hur bor du? Jag bor på hotell just nu. Ursäkta Anders, men jag måste till bussen nu. Okej, okay, vi ses. Hej då. Vi ses. Du, idag flyttar Nils och Eva in i lägenheten. Jaha, vad trevligt. Varifrån kommer de? Eva är från Polen och Nils är från Sverige. Jaha, vad intressant. Du James, kan du hjälpa Nils och Eva senare med att hitta här i huset? Tack. Självklart. När kommer de? De kommer på eftermiddagen. Jag måste verkligen gå nu. Hej då. Hej då. Vi ses. Want to speak real Swedish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at swedishpod101.com. In this lesson, we learn some of the most common greetings used in Sweden. Är ni redo? Are you ready? Så låt oss börja. Så let's start. The most commonly used informal greeting is hey. Hey. Hey means hi. We use it when we meet people. We can use this greeting with anyone. Yet, it isn't the only way to greet someone. We also have hallå. Hallå. Which means hello. And more time-specific greetings like god dag. God dag. Literally, god dag means good day. As a rule of thumb, we can use god dag only during the daytime, from morning until evening. During the evening, we say god kväll. God kväll. Kväll is Swedish for evening. So god kväll means good evening. Finally, in the morning, we say god morgon. God morgon. This means good morning. However, instead of god dag and god kväll, it's much more common to just use hey. Good morgon, on the other hand, is still the most common phrase to use in the morning. When saying goodbye, we say hej då, hej då. When parting for a long time, we often add ha det bra, ha det bra, which means be well. Finally, in Swedish, we have an expression meaning see you soon that can be considered both formal and informal. Vi ses. Vi ses. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Swedish. Let's review them all again. When meeting friends or someone we don't know, hej. There also is hallå. In the morning, god morgon. During the day, god dag. And in the evening, god kväll. When leaving, we say hej då. When leaving, but want to imply, see you soon, vi ses. To which we sometimes add, ha det bra, or be well. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Elin's insights. In formal situations, Swedish people commonly greet each other by shaking hands. However, if we meet someone we are very friendly with, we hug. Swedish people are generally shy and might not take the initiative to hug. But don't be afraid to do it. It's always appreciated. Hej, jag heter Eva och kommer från Polen. Vad heter du? Mitt namn är James. Jag är engelsman och du är polack. Ursäkta, men vad betyder det? På svenska säger man polack till folk från Polen och till mig från England, engelsman. Ja så, det visste jag inte. Så jag är polack och till folk från Sverige, vad säger man då? De kallas för svenskor. Jaha, jag hoppas jag får träffa många av dem snart. Hej James, du spelar bra. Tack Anders, många här spelar bra, men jag förstår inte alla språk. Ja så, hur så? De där pratar franska, de talar ingen svenska och mycket lite engelska. Jaha, vad kul, så många språk. Själv studerar jag spanska och japanska. Oj vad intressant, då talar du många språk. Nej, inte än. Min spanska är okej, okay, men min japanska är fortfarande svag. Som min svenska. Nej, det talar ju nästan flytande. You are at a train station where you're attempting to buy an express ticket from a ticket machine. Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket?
Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket? The option on the bottom left is for an express ticket. Express billet. You are at a train station where you've just bought an express ticket. Which train car row and seat number are you in? Which train car row and seat number are you in? The ticket says that you're in train car number one in the eighth row in seat C. Tågvagn nummer ett, åttonde raden, plats C. Want to speak real Swedish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at SwedishPod101.com. You are at a train station where you're reading the train schedule for an express ticket that you've just bought. On which days are there no express trains running? On which days are there no express trains running? There are no express trains running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. Nationella helgdagar, tredje söndagen varje månad. You are on a platform at a train station where you're waiting for your train. Suddenly, a message appears on the display. What does the message on the display mean? What does the message on the display mean? The display reads, the next train will not stop. Nästa tåg stannar ej. You are at a train station where you're looking for the best exit to catch a taxi. Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? You should take the east exit in order to get to the taxi rank. Östra utgången Hi everybody, welcome to Swedish Pod 101. It's time for another class, another lesson in the Swedish language. Um, and I'm Hannah, talking to you from Sweden. 
Today we're gonna go through some very basic uh, words, some foundations. So let's get started with the words. Hey, hello. Very basic, simple. You say hey, it works for everybody, whoever you meet. You say hey and they will probably respond with another hey back to you. Good morgon. Good morning. Bit more formal, nice and polite for the mornings. Means the same as in English, means good morning. Good eftermiddag. Good afternoon. Same, polite and nice, but of course used in the afternoon. And again, it's the same meaning as in English. It means good afternoon. Good eftermiddag. Good afternoon. Good night. Good night. Most of the time it's used for when you're going to sleep. So um, yeah, when you wish someone a nice night, um, good night's sleep, this is what you say. Vad heter du? What's your name? Very easy, we're not that formal in Sweden. So uh, and again, it's the same meaning word by word. Uh, it means, what's your name? You ask what someone is called. Jag heter Hanna. I'm Hanna. Meaning is just, my name is Hanna. And uh, I do of course recommend you to not say Hanna, but use your own name instead. It might get a bit weird if you just copy my name. Unless your name is Hanna, of course. Trevligt att träffas. Nice to meet you. Same meaning as in English, again, um, always you can use this when you meet someone, like when you introduce yourself, but you can also use it when you say goodbye and you want to tell them that it was nice getting to know them, nice meeting them, first time or every time. So it doesn't, there's no wrong time for using this one when you want to tell someone that it was nice seeing them. Hur mår du? How are you? Nice and easy short phrase. Um, sometimes in Sweden we do respond like, oh, you know, it's all good, even though it's not. And uh, sometimes if you know someone closer, they probably give you a more thorough explanation, tell them a bit more about what's going on in their life. So this can either be just a polite phrase or when you sincerely mean to, you know, find out more about what's going on in someone's life. Jag mår bra, tack. Och du? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Yeah, so maybe this is the polite version of the answer, if everything is good, um, or if everything is good. So this is just the most common way to respond if someone asks you, like, what's going on? It's all good. You know, I don't want to go too deep into whatever is going on in your life. But it's nice and uh, polite. And of course it ends with uh, asking someone back how they are. Snälla. Please. In Swedish we use this word snälla. It's uh, the meaning of snäll is uh, nice, kind. Um, and sometimes we have, uh, we use the word for thanks instead, like in the end of the sentence, like can you pass me the salt, please, we say. Tack, thanks, instead of this word. Um, but they are, you can swap them, you can use either of the two and it's still gonna be a nice way of asking someone to maybe help you or, or um, answer a question or something. Tack, thank you. Here we go with this word. Tack, thank you, or thanks. I would say that it's more like thanks. It's the short, nice, uh, not very formal way of just saying thanks. I think maybe this is the most useful word in any language, don't you think? Like, every time if someone helps you with the door or something, you can thank them. And that's uh, one of the first things for me, at least, that I want to learn how to say in the language. Thank people for helping me. Varsågod. You're welcome. Maybe you help someone sometimes and they say thank you for helping them, holding a door or something. I guess in almost every country it's like the norm that you maybe, if someone is carrying a lot of stuff or someone elderly um, walks by, you hold the door for them and 
In Sweden, if they say thank you, you reply with this phrase for you're welcome. So, varsågod. You're welcome. Ja. Yes. It's just yes, you know. When you want to say, you can add the yes please, ja tack. Um, but it's just yes, easy. Nej. No. Also, nej, short and easy, is just the word to say no. You can add the um, politer, uh, politer version, say no thanks, then you just say nej tack. So, this is actually fun, you can combine the words in this lesson a lot to uh, create more polite sentences. Okay. Okay. So this one you kind of already knew, if you know the English version, and I've heard that Okay is one of the most common words in the world these days. It's uh, used in a lot of languages, almost the same pronunciation, almost the same spelling as well. So, okay, that one always works. Ursäkta mig. Excuse me. For when, to, when you want to maybe walk by someone, someone is standing in your way, like may, maybe accidentally blocking a door or something, you just want to politely ask them if you can um, step by or if they could move to the side, then you use this one. Also, if you want to uh, get attention, you use this, uh, like, excuse me, to get some attention. Maybe in a restaurant or something like that. Förlåt. Sorry. Maybe almost as useful as knowing how to say thanks, you can say this, I'm sorry. And this is maybe more on an emotional level than the phrase for excuse me. It's a bit similar to English there too, I think, um, that you use. This is more like um, serious, maybe deep, deeper level. Maybe you hurt someone or it doesn't have to be like that super emotional, but maybe you um, accidentally um, hurt someone. Then you say, sorry. Vad är klockan? What time is it? So in Sweden we don't use the AM, PM, but we use the, um, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, then we say 13, 14, 15 hours for the afternoon time. And uh, so that's also a good thing to remember when asking about time, that maybe someone will tell you, oh, it's 14. Uh, they, then they actually mean 2 p.m. So that's a good fact to, uh, to, to have when you ask for the time so that you understand what they tell you. Var är toaletten? Where is the restroom? Good one to know you all. I, I guess you've sometimes been somewhere and you really needed a restroom. I think that's like part of being human. Um, and then asking for it in the right language can actually be crucial not to have an accident. So uh, actually, as you might, might have heard when I said it, it's quite similar to the word toilet. So, uh, toilet. Uh, so you can probably use toilet and get around, but uh, it's always good to know how to ask for this. Vänta ett ögonblick. Wait a moment. Maybe in a restaurant or in a store, if you order something or buy something, they will. They just need to, you know, fix something before they can help you. Uh, then this is what they will tell you to just wait a moment, um, and hopefully it's just a moment and not longer. Hur mycket kostar det här? How much is this? So except for getting food, um, maybe the next step, next thing you need to solve when you're traveling is to buy some things, do some shopping, um, and then, of course, in Sweden we don't haggle, so when you ask for the price, you'll get what you're expected to pay. Uh, there are a few exceptions to this, like a few markets where you can haggle um, and discuss the price, but most places it's just fixed, so when you ask for it, you'll get the answer you need. Can I for no tack? Could I get the check, please? This is for asking uh, to pay. In a restaurant, you can just raise your hand and ask for the check and you'll be able to pay. Kan jag få notan? Tack. Could I get the check, please? Hjälp. Help. 
I hope you don't have to use this one anytime at all um, because it might mean that you're in a tricky situation but if you do end up in one it's of course useful to <laughs> be able to scream for help um, quite similar to the English one Yelp so just Yelp and hopefully someone will run over and help you with whatever it is that you're gotten yourself into Actually, Swedes can be a bit... Um, maybe they won't approach you if you look like you don't need help. So if you like pretend that you're okay. So it's actually good to ask for it if you need it. Vi ses senare. See you later. This is... Uh, it can either mean that you will see each other later, but you can also just use it to be nice like, you know, hope to see you later, but you just say see you later, as if you will actually see them, but it's kind of a nice way of saying that you uh, hope to see them later. So, uh, vi ses senare. Or, as you would usually say, actually in Swedish you would say, vi ses sen. Sen, instead of senare. So it's, that's a shorter version. A um, bit more of slang, but you can maybe start with the, the correct one. Hej då! Goodbye. Um, short and easy, a version of the hey uh, that we used to say hello. Um, you add a little part in the end and you can use this for anyone. It's also like, doesn't matter if they are older or younger or anything like that. Use the same word. And this was the end of the uh, lesson, uh, top 25 phrases in Swedish. Um, I hope you uh, learned some of them already and uh, that you'll take your time to go out and practice short, easy phrases that will make you sound a bit more nice. And the Swedish people, of course, like everybody, appreciates when you um, use some of their language. Remember to like, subscribe and comment um, on uh, Swedish Pod 101 this channel and also head over to SwedishPod101.com to learn more free Swedish. I hope you're still having fun with the language. I am. Hej då! Bye bye! Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.